I have access. Crikey, mate. It's a real messy jungle in here. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Okay. We got some. What do we got? I think we've got ourselves a real rare kind of a snake here. I can get a little closer, but. Ooh, maybe go back a little bit. Not sure. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I think this is about as close as we can get, mate. Looks like we have an XS Pro 16 channel snake here in the studio. 16 channels of audio and four aux outs. Ooh, mate. Looks like we have a mighty fine specimen here. Don't want to get too close, but I think she will do us really good here at Legacy Studios. You may have seen the movie Snakes on a Plane. Today, I have a snake in the studio. What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Paul the Fifth. Not a reptile, but this is 50 foot in length. I can plug these into the back of my interfaces over here. I can put the inputs right down here by my drums. I have 16 channels of inputs, four outs, four auxes, I can create custom headphone mixes if I want. So my main goal coming to Nashville from Indiana almost six years ago was to get into the live music industry, more preferably touring in the CCM market. I had set a big goal to be part of the Winter Jam Spectacular Tour. I did get to assist when I was helping out with one of their sponsors, which was called Holt International, and that was amazing. Now that everything is still on lockdowns, I have found that my niche is here in the studio. So I'm transitioning some gear from the live sound side of the industry to the studio. How can I use this here? My space in the commercial building is this way, 11 feet, 14 foot, this way. So having a 20 or 25 foot XLR cable going from my drums all the way to the back of my interfaces is sometimes a challenge, even though the room's only 14 feet in length. So I got to thinking, let's invest in a snake. I did some research and I found this brand here. It's called XS Pro. I have 16 channels of XLR connections in four out so that way I can create custom headphone mixes so I plug these they're all numbered 1 through 16 all these red ones are my outputs it saves so much time I have everything preset all I have to do is turn the interfaces on pull up the focus right software control pull up my DAW hit that R button and I'm good to go let me show you how we're going to set this up. So here I am in a claustrophobic spot again. I seem to find myself in this position a lot lately, but what's the purpose of a snake? In the live sound setting, you may have your stage right here. Let's say my phone is the stage and then back here is a sound booth. Let's say that's 500 feet away. Well, you can't have an XLR cable that's 500 feet from here, it's gonna go from the soundboard all the way over here. The biggest one I've seen is about 300. That's the biggest one that I've ever wrapped. And that was a beast, oh my gosh, I was exhausted after that. Anyhow, you'd have the back of things plugged in to the back of your board. Nowadays, everything's all digital. So in the back of your console, you plug in either via Cat5 or Cat6, and then that sends the signal all the way from here over to your stage on the back of your stage box you have another cat 5 or cat 6 cable and you plug into your interfaces there here in the studio what i'm doing is i'm going to be plugging cables into the back of my interface 
the cable is running all the way around the wall and it's gonna be right in front of my drums. So, and there is where I can take my XLR cables for my microphones recording my drums into the 16 channel snake part. I can plug in right there and that sends the signal from the drums all the way back here. So that way you don't have to have cables all over the place, tripping over everything because your boy is very clumsy. I tend to do that a lot, but this is going to be a much more efficient, much cleaner way. And let me show you how to install things on the back of this desk. This part here on the XS Pro 16 channel snake has 16 channels of high quality Neutrik XLR input connectors and four outputs for creating either custom headphone sends or whatever effects you want to send, anything you want to do to customize a mix. Looks like kind of a mess, right? Well, it is. That's okay. We'll be hooking up those cables here shortly. Here we go. This is my kit. I have 22 inch kick drum, standard 14 inch snare, Nashville style, 12 inch tom, 14, 16, Mino, classic custom dart symbols over here for my right hi-hat. I've got a 15 inch Zildjian, pitch black series, master sound hi-hats, this is an old, old, old cowbell. I've had that since I was a youngster, since I was about 15. This is the kit. Let's hook up some cables, shall we? All right, so I know this part of the video may be kind of difficult to watch because I'm trying to get the best angles that I possibly can doing this all on my own. So we're gonna be plugging these cables that I've already pre-set up into our snake, going from one, two, three, four, all the way to 16. Inputs one and two are my kick drums.
So this part of the snake is gonna live right down here. And the rest of this is going along the wall and back behind the workstation. This is the Focusrite 18 i20. So the first two inputs are on the front. Right here we have three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna have 18 channels total. So I'm gonna plug number one into input seven. Because remember, one and two are gonna be for my vocals. Three, four, five, and six are gonna be for other instruments. Two. It's going into eight, three, it's going into one, four, it's going into five, and also one and two are gonna be on the work clock for this spit of cable right here. Five, it's going into three, six, Going into four, seven, going into five, eight, going into six, nine, going into seven, ten, going into eight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 is going into one, and 12 is going into input two in the back of the old school 2012, 2013 model of the Focusrite Mach 2 dynamic. So what am I gonna do with these? Do you remember last week when I said, I hoard these. Yeah, well, I'm putting these to use today. And look what I found in there. A Velcro strip. All right, so we'll take these, fold them up nicely. Velcro in. There we go. That's it, folks. Do you remember the other day when I was like, look at all this cable management? Nah. Well, I spent like three hours tonight rerouting things. Getting all this stuff organized I'm not all the way done but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did <laughs> 